1946 kind of research was really fun. I read a lot of diaries from that time and that was really, really helpful because it kind of gives you an idea about what people were concerned with. That, um, like obviously they mention things like the H-bomb or uh, kind of things that they're scared of that are kind of in the like, bigger world, but also the, just the everyday life, the shortages of things. Some of the problems I had were just finding references to things that were very normal for me. So I had a scene where um, Maud was taking a casserole dish out of the oven uh, with some oven gloves and casserole was wrong because they didn't call it casserole so it was like stew instead and oven gloves no idea I couldn't find a single reference to them and I thought well did people have oven gloves in 1946 like it just seems like such a basic thing to have I could not find a single single reference so I had to take them out and I even asked people uh, who were alive at the time like, did you have oven gloves and they couldn't remember either so I just, it was kind of like days wasted on looking for oven gloves somewhere. I'm Emma Healy and my book is Elizabeth is Missing. It's narrated by Maud who is in her 80s and uh, is living with dementia. And she is convinced that her best friend Elizabeth has gone missing. Everyone around her uh, disagrees. They say she's just forgotten having seen Elizabeth recently. But she's determined to investigate anyway, spurred on by the memory of her sister going missing in 1946.